everybody. Welcome back to another episode of DM Dad & Co. This week we're going to be continuing working on the dungeon beneath the death house for the 5th edition adventure, Curse of Strahd. Alright, tonight we are going to be going over areas 31, 33, and 34. Okay, and that'll finish off the first level of this dungeon. Next week we will be going into the lower level of the dungeon beneath the death house and finally finishing up this series. Uh, I'm going to be putting up a parts list for you to get everything together. So check that out. Get your stuff. And now we can go ahead and just dive right in to the build. So we're going to be starting with area 31. If you're following along with me, that's where we're going to be doing. That's what I'm going to be making now. All right. And then we're going to move over to 33 and then finally 34 to finish up the build for the night. All right. So let's go ahead and get started on area 33. All right, guys, so that is area 31. This is the statue room that your players will come into. There is a statue of Strahd over here in this little alcove area that your players can take a look at and then later on recognize as Strahd Von Zarovich. All right, there are uh, skeletons lining the walls here. They are mainly just decoration um, in the module itself. I don't unfortunately have any skeletons that I can just place in here at the moment um but that's pretty much it for area 31. i did want to show you this because i did a couple things a little bit differently not everything is clipped in here and i'm going to show you uh how i did this in case you guys are curious at home so these here are actually inside corner walls all right so as you can see that we have that and we have the half height pillars attached to one end and we use them as outside corner walls. If you want, you can take the edge caps that come with the sets and place them in here to make it look without the uh, parts for the clips, if you prefer. Um, doesn't really bother me too much. I may do it later on, who knows? But for now, this is what I did. And all three of these pieces are exactly the same. We just did that. And if you put it in here like that, everything lines up nicely, as you can see. And it looks like uh just exactly how it should okay and it takes up the entirety of the tile so you don't have to worry about anything being off center when you clip everything together and put everything together okay so that's really cool and now uh we're gonna go ahead and move this over and we're just gonna continue on with area 33 and i'm gonna build that and connect it directly to this so you guys can kind of see what's going on on the way all right so let's dive into the next part of the build All right, guys, so I actually went ahead and made areas 33 and 34 during that building section of the video. Um, so this is the rest of the first layer of the dungeon all put together, uh, minus a stairway uh, going down. But 
Here we have area 31. And this right here is actually a secret door. Um, this is a part of the build that I made last week. You can actually build it just like that, how I did last week, and attach it right to here instead of making these four tiles area. And you'll have exactly connections to the previous sections. I included it in this area because I wanted to have the completed room to show you guys. All right, so this is 31. This here, we have, like I said earlier, a statue of Strahd von Zarovich that the players can see and interact with. Uh, there's nothing really special about it, but in this room, once they get here, they do begin to start hearing the creepy chanting of the cultists that they will encounter later on in the dungeon. All right, and uh, coming down this way, they have a door, or at least they think they'll have a door that they'll have to pass through no problem, but it's not really a door, it's actually a mimic. So I do have the door mimic uh, from WizKids here. Um, I, this is one of my favorites, one of my favorite monsters. Uh, so I did just put that down where it belongs to. And this divides area 31 from area 33. Now I do have area 33 all set, ready to go here. This is the Colt Leaders Den area is what it's called. And it's pretty much just a place to hang out and there's not much going on here. Um, this, this area here, does lead back over to area 29, which is right near the stairs uh, that you can take down to area 30, which lead into area 35, which is the lower section of the dungeon, the final section uh, where the players will encounter their final boss battle uh, for this little mini dungeon and where we will be continuing building next week. All right, so that's what this area leads over here. This short little passage leads into the cult leaders, uh, bed chambers, and in here, your players can find actually a, a decent amount of treasure. There is an unlocked chest, uh, an unlocked uh, foot locker at the foot of the bed that your players can go through. I think there's uh, quite a few magic items in there and a scroll, but something interesting about this is that in certain areas marked on the map, um, that I'll put up here so you guys can take see that and check along with me There are uh, little areas here and here marked with an X on the map that contain Gas in the walls that will come out and attack your players. These gas are actually the previous owners of the death house the husband and wife I forget their names, but I'll put them up right here for you guys so you can see that and um, They actually come out and so I've put these uh, I don't have any gas minis on me, so I use these gloom weaver minis uh, to uh, kind of denote where they where they would be, and they just kind of come right on out of the walls, all creepy like, and attack your players. So once they go in there and they start getting a little too close to the walls, interacting, looking for things, you can just say, "All right, roll initiative, hit the battle music, and out they come." So uh, this was a lot of fun. I know I showed you guys. I'll, um, a few things that I did differently uh, here to, you know, some things aren't really clipped in, but to make it really work, um, I don't think I've gone over this or this part yet, so let me do that now. Uh, these tight corners are really hard to do, so actually what I did is I just clipped this wall offset uh, so that it's actually in the outmost area to put a clip and I've clipped it in there like that and left a space for this interior wall to kind of sneak into so that that lines up and this ends up lining up nicely for the normal um, outside straight wall to be connected there and that's just kind of how you can go ahead and get those small areas clipped together if you want to keep them like that and uh, a little bit easier a little bit of a trick for you guys to do uh, I did the same thing over here. We used the interior corners, and these are actually uh, great pieces. I love them. So I just did the same thing on this section here. I offset the um, outside straight wall here and left a little area for the out for the inside corner curved tile and wall to just fit in nice and snug like that, and everything works out. As always, guys. 
I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I enjoyed making it and uh, I was finally able to give you guys some actual, you know, different tips to uh, uh, make your builds a little bit better and, and get things to fit more. So if you got any value out of this video, if you enjoyed it at all, please don't forget to like and subscribe.